Hello beauties and welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Amanda, my friends call me Min. I test out different products, do all kinds of things with my hair, and just tell you guys what works and what doesn't. Today, we're going to be doing yet another hair video. And I know you guys are probably thinking, how does this girl still have hair on her head? I don't know either. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, today, you can see that my hair is a lot lighter than it was. If you missed my last hair video, I did show you guys how to do a bleach bath to remove color with minimal damage. If you didn't see that video, I will link it here so you can go and give that a watch. Um, I did give my hair a few days break in between that and today, and I did some hair masks and things like that because I don't want my hair to all fall out. Today, I did another bleach bath, which has now left me to what this is looking like right now. Everything is to a pale blonde. And I'm going to attempt, again, to do silver. I did a while ago try the Got To Be Metallic Silver, and that was an epic fail for me. It did not work for my hair. Today, we're going to try the Splat Rebellious Colors Sinful Silver. This is one I was at Walmart. I had never seen, like I seen the splat ones there before, but never this silver shade. And I tried to look up on YouTube other people using this, and honestly, I couldn't find anyone using it. So, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do it for you. Um, when you open it up, it does come with this lightning bleach packet of powder and the developer for that. I do not know their bleach. I was not going to apply this into my already bleached process hair. I did the bleach bath with my own products that I use all the time that I know. Just because bleach is a crazy thing, I wasn't gonna test that out. But the other product in here this is the semi-permanent hair color in Sinful Silver. As you can see, it looks like the same color as your purple shampoos and your different toners that you use to get silver hair. So we're gonna try it out. If you look at the back, it says here that if you have light blonde hair, you will get this silver. I have light blonde hair. It should work. Uh, because I have never used this before, I am going to open up the instructions here and just see. Um, prep hair, protection, wear gloves, shake the color, do not cut tip from applicator prior to shaking. So shake this up, apply it to your hair, and for best results, process color for 45 minutes to one hour. Uh, for thicker hair, leave formula on for an additional 15 minutes. Check a small section of hair every 10 minutes to check the progress. Okay. So this is just it. It doesn't get mixed with anything. We're just going to shake this up really, really good, and we're going to slap it in. I really hope it works, because I have tried so many different products that say they will get me silver, and they have not. I got high hopes for this bad boy. And uh, because silvers never work out for me when I try them, I, uh, I'm having a bit of a drink. Shh. Now I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. Alright, before I work with colors, I always wear gloves because I don't want my hands stained, I don't want chemical burns, I don't want anything like that. And neither do you, so always wear your gloves. 
These are not the gloves that came with it. I hate those gloves that they send with them. These are my own that I buy. All right, guys. I think it's shaken up. I'm going to pop this top. Oh, maybe I don't need to cover it. Can I just, you know? Okay. Are you ready? Let's do this. This is not coming out very well. There we go. You really gotta like push the bottle to get this out. I am so not used to using these squeezy tubes. I always use my brush and my bowl. This seems awkward to me. But we're rolling with it. And then I'm just gonna put it into the back as well. Make sure you get your hairline. All right, now I'm just gonna take like excess product into my gloves and really just massage the rest of this into my hair. Okay guys, I think that I'm satisfied with how it is. I think I got everything. I'm gonna spin around. You guys can let me know in the comments down below if you see spots that I missed. <laughs> By then it'll be too late. Okay, it looks very purple right now. I'm going to leave it in. It says 45 minutes to an hour. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it in for about 45 minutes and then I'll wash and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, um, I didn't leave it on for the full 45 minutes. I left it on my hair for 25 minutes. I only, I washed it off after 25 minutes because my ends looked like they were turning like legit purple. I have not looked at it yet. I washed it using my Olaplex shampoo and then I used the number eight uh, hair mask from Olaplex, left it on for 10 minutes, rinsed that out, put the towel on. I'm nervous, guys. I'm gonna have a drink because I'm nervous. Okay, I'm going to look at it with you guys for the first time. Hey, that's not... It's not as bad as I was... Oh, nah, there's my ends. Yeah, my ends definitely look like they went purple. Okay. Let's dry this up and really have a good look. Alright, guys. It is all dried. I ran the flat iron through it. I put in a little bit of my Save Me From... Age Acceleration product. I love Sammy Femmes products and their Age Acceleration one, when you have fine, high, fine hair like me, when you put that in and just use it to add some volume at the end of your style, it just gets all your flyaways down, gives you that bit of texture in your fine hair without weighing it down. But let's talk about the color. All in all, guys, I... I'm impressed, okay? I gotta say, this stuff worked a lot better than the Got To Be brand. 
I could have probably left it on for a little bit longer, but you can see my ends. It took a lot better and quicker to certain pieces of my hair over like the top root part. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera a little bit maybe you can see some difference. The ends of your hair are a lot more porous so they are going to grab onto the color a lot better than the hair that is healthier. I don't hate it though. Let me spin you guys around so you can have a good look. I'm not mad at it. From where I was when I did my first bleach bath video to the color that I am now, I'm happy. I can live with this for a little while. I will be giving my hair a bit of a break in between like I always do. And then I might get this product again, but instead of using the bottle applicator that it comes with, I might just throw it in a bowl with a brush and put it on to my roots up until the sections where it turned that silver color, just so it can really grab onto those extra sections in throughout my hair that needed that little extra bit of time. I think if I would have left it on for the full 45 minutes and didn't get scared and wash it off, I think it would have looked a lot better. I will be grabbing another one of these because I'm happy with it. I think it worked fabulously. Anyways, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, then give it a big thumbs up so I know to make more. If you are not subscribed to the Men's Beauty family, then please go do that. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna have fun with my new hair. And until next time, I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye.